I'm so excited. So today is February 19th, which is actually my older brother Logan's birthday. We were born a week and three years apart. <laughs> I'm one week exactly. Next Saturday will be my 21st birthday. I'm really excited because it's like, you know, the last like big birthday. And my plans are me and my brothers and my stepsister, Nicole, which is my stepdad's daughter, are all gonna go to South Carolina to spend a week slash weekend. I'm going for a whole week with my mom for my 21st birthday. And there's like some really fun little bars we're gonna go to in Savannah and, you know, have a couple drinks. And we didn't get to do Christmas and we haven't all been together in a really long time so it'll kind of be like a family trip as well as my birthday and there's no one I would rather spend my 21st birthday with my mom was also saying how she's really excited because she didn't get to have a 21st birthday so this will be like both of our 21st birthdays she's actually like living vicariously through me so she's planning the entire thing and I just have to show up that being said I was looking through my closet and realized that I don't have anything to wear and I have not prepared at all for this so this video is gonna be me like preparing for my 21st birthday slash my trip to South Carolina. I want to have a clean house before I go. I actually want to get my nails done, which is kind of a big deal because I've been doing my own nails and they always fall off. So I'm actually going to go get them done and I need to go shopping for a new outfit. I'm definitely one to like comfort over fashion. Like, yes, I want to be super cute, but if I'm going to be like walking around Savannah, because we're probably going to Uber there and then like walk around, which it's like a really cute town and it's not that much walking, but like I want to be comfortable. I want it to be something I can probably wear sneakers or my Doc Martens with and be able to like move around in it and have fun because that is my style, not so much like something that would be tight and uncomfortable. So we're going to go to the mall and go shopping for the outfit. I forgot to bring my water bottle and I'm already regretting it. Also, I don't know why I am doing this on a Saturday. When have I ever gone to the mall on a weekend? Like, worst idea ever. I had to park so far away. So this first store I'm in is Cotton On, which is one of my favorite stores. And I tried on a couple different things, but nothing I was like loving. I did like that last top. I didn't like this one quite as much. Then I went to Hollister, haven't been there in forever. And I actually really like this dress. I just don't know if I really want to wear a dress on my 21st birthday, but so far this is my favorite thing that I actually have tried on and thought looked pretty good on me. But I also hate straps like this and I don't wanna wear a jacket. I found these at Forever 21, but didn't love them. And then there was this dress and I was just like, what? But I like the back, but then yeah. You can see I don't like it. So then I went back to Cotton On and was like, you know what? I like this. So I really like these pants. I ended up buying them and I like this top. So I'll either wear this or just take pictures in it or something. I'm not sure. I just kind of hated the way everything looked on me. But walking out, I saw these buildings and I was just like, oh my gosh, I literally live in Houston. Like, when did this happen? How did this happen? I don't know. <laughs> Someone is in the car right in front of me and just watched me set up my camera, walk away, and then come back. So, so glad that someone could experience that. What in the world? Hello? I don't even know if I like what I bought. So when I got home, I tried on a bunch of different stuff with what I bought and I actually wore those pants to church on Sunday and ended up loving them. So I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I changed it to some comfy clothes and then I bought this claw clip and I needed a new one. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. And I got this cute little tote bag. So I decided to add something to my list that I wasn't planning on doing, but I think I'm going to use fake self tanner. I'm just really pale and like it hasn't bothered me this winter and I'm really not as pale as I normally am in the winter, probably cause I actually still go outside a lot, but I kind of just want to do that so i'm gonna get in the shower exfoliate shave and then put on the self tanner okay so i just got out of the shower and i moisturized like my wrists and my elbows and all the stuff i haven't done this since right before my 18th birthday uh the first time i ever self tanned i was 17 i did it for my birthday i haven't done it since because i would just go into the tanning beds but i don't do that anymore it took me so long to take off all of my bracelets by myself but i have my loving tan to Two hour express this is literally what i used last time these things expire because um it's been a while let's just hope not are you supposed to shake it or no i am nervous for some reason ah what if it looks terrible and in my all my birthday pictures i just look awful all right i just gotta trust the process oh my gosh i already hate this so much 
I'm so scared right now. Last time I did this, uh, my hands, I put it on my palms for some reason and they were orange. So we're not gonna do that this time. Okay, ooh. I don't even know if you can tell the difference. Is there anything that's like bad about doing self-tan with tattoos? Cause if so, it's too late. I'm feeling very vulnerable right now, just in my towel filming myself. Okay, so there's my arms. I'm gonna put it all over my body now and I will see you guys when I have clothes on. I put the self-tan on, now I'm just wearing some like loose clothes. For the next two hours while it develops because it's like the two hour express. I'm also going to put my like Olaplex treatment in my hair and let that sit at the same time and then I'm gonna shower, wash my hair, wash off the tan. It's been like two and a half hours. It looks like I've been in the sun tanning a nice little golden color, but I'm gonna wash it off so we get that final look. Okay, I'm drying my hair, but this is like the final product. <laughs> What do I say? The final results. I don't know if I can tell a difference. Maybe just like a little bit darker, which is what I wanted. Just that nice, perfect little like sun-kissed moment. But um, I'm sure I'll be able to tell when I'm editing. Or it did nothing and that was a waste of time. But I feel really clean. So I guess it wasn't a waste of time. This has nothing to do with my birthday or getting ready for my birthday. But I'm at Top Golf and I, I gotta vlog it. Next thing I have to do is just to get my nails done and then pack. And I think I will be ready for my trip. I mean, hopefully because I leave tomorrow. So my nails, I was thinking either do all black or just like the tips black, how I've done my nails before. I think I might do the tips because it's just like a little bit more classy. I know my mom will appreciate that. She doesn't like when I do my nails all black. <laughs> so it's really nice because I have a direct flight tomorrow. I leave at like noon, so it's a really good time. I don't have to wake up super early. I think it's gonna be such a fun trip and yes, I will be vlogging it. I might do a vlog of like the couple days before my birthday and then an actual 21st birthday vlog or maybe like a get ready with me and then a little bit of a vlog. I don't really know yet. I haven't been this excited for a trip in a while. It's, it's just gonna be a good one. It's always fun to go to my mom's and me and my mom actually have some fun videos planned of me and her apart from like all the vlogs that I'm gonna make. So you guys definitely wanna hit subscribe and stay tuned. Okay, um, I don't like vlogging getting my nails done. We'll see if I get any clips, but here's what my nails look like right now. Now. And here are my nails. I'm so obsessed. I kind of want to do this like every time now because I still get that like black, but it's just like a little more like classy looking. I am obsessed. Ah! I literally feel so much more put together now that my nails are done. Oh, I was watching the originals while getting my nails done with my AirPods in and just started playing over my car. Anyway, my car is so squeaky all of a sudden. Every time I move, it squeaks. They literally look so good. So these are my glasses I need to see. I don't know when or how this happened, but this uh, came undone. So I'm gonna take the screw from these just blue light glasses that I never wear and put them in my actual glasses. So wish me luck on this. to pack. So packing for my mom's is actually super easy because last time I went out there, I brought a bunch of stuff that I just left there because I go to my mom's so often. I have my own dresser with like a bunch of my clothes. I have a pair of tennis shoes, a pair of sneakers, leggings, some shorts, stuff like that so that I don't have to pack a ton of stuff when I go. So basically all I have are like my stuff I love to wear that I know I don't have there, like some cute jeans, stuff that I wanna wear potentially on my 21st birthday, like that new outfit I bought, underwear, socks, my makeup, my hair dryer brush thing, my curling iron, and my purse. And then this is the best thing ever because you get a free personal item when you travel. So instead of bringing my backpack I normally use, I can fit way more stuff in this and then I don't even have to zip it closed if I don't want to. So I just put like my computer, my iPad, my chargers, everything in here. And if I need to like cram stuff from there into here, then like it works. I can just bring a lot more stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to packing. I think that is everything that I needed to do. Also, yes, I was gonna get my hair touched up because my roots are showing, but then I realized that I don't care that much and don't really want to the money so I didn't do it. My birthday is on Saturday, February 26th. There'll be a vlog either the next day or maybe two days after because I'll probably be hanging with my family and having a good time so I'll get it out as soon as I can. But I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!